Good day to you. I'm Chin, Chin Kim On, the presenter for the project titled Smart Hadi Mobile Best Attendance Management Systems. I'm from Faculty of Computing and Informatics. So I believe all of us know that the manual time and and attendance system is uh, being practiced in most of the university, college, government, uh, departments, and industries. So the traditional system requires users to fill in their time sheets or um, sign on the attendance sheets manually. So the practice is considered as inefficient and lack of effectiveness, particularly for um, university students' attendance scores. Because most of the um, common issue shares are uh, recorded attendance sheets may go missing, going missing, and having integrity issue when the students opt to sign on behalf of their absent friends, and then um, students may forget the signs on the attendance sheet, and then it could be very time consuming if there is a large number of students or users involved. And then in most of the cases, there is no uh, complete or comprehensive attendance analysis uh, is available in this manual system. So what are the solutions? Basically, there are plenty of ideas of technologies have been proposed and developed. And these are the four most common technology use and uh, the technologies available in the market, barcode based attendance system, RFID enable attendance system, NSC enable system, and biometric based attendance system. So we go one by one. Basically, there is um, a barcode scanner and a local computer is required in order to capture the student's attendance if you're using barcode attendance systems. So the technology will decode the information from a sequence of um, these bar and spaces printed on the student's card using this barcode scanner. And uh, the barcode could be either in uh, code 49, PDF, 417, data matrix, or QR code format. It depends on the, the technology involved. So this technology has been widely used in the industry sectors because it proved that it's effective and efficient to capture data. However, a specific barcode reader is required in the capturing process and everyone must possess a, a particular identity card. So in most of the cases, staff or students may forget to bring their card or lose their card if the barcode uh, uh, or, or maybe the barcode printed is not clear. All right. So next technology is about RFID and Apple attendance um, uh, systems. So usually RFID technology is used to monitor students' attendance, which is then stored in a backcam database linked to the RFID readers. RFID readers and readers. So the student's attendance is captured using the RFID technologies when the students show up uh, the tech ID to the RFID reader. And similar to the barcode systems, the system process, the system possesses a specific identity card. And the student's attendance will not be recorded if they have forgotten to bring their card or lost their card. And in additional RFID readers, uh, it's not that costly, but still involves some basic costs where costs where it require proper uh, planning in this uh, placement. The next technology is uh, NFC technology. It is a, a type of low cost sensor technology with short range communication between compatibility devices, compatible devices. So the process requires at least one trunk, transmitting device and another to receive the signal. So the NFC standards can be used by a variety of devices which can be passive or active. And similar to the barcode system and RFID system, the system possesses a specific identity card and the reader. And uh, currently, the smartphone also having uh, NFC features available for um, the student's attendance system. 
And then the fourth one, which is uh, biometric based intelligence systems. So fingerprint devices, uh, face recognition devices, iris based devices, uh, most common use devices. Okay, for attendance management system. And the biometric recognition technology has been widely used since many decades ago for capturing staff, staff attendance. But the most common found one is the fingerprint devices. Most common found one. Okay, of course, there are face recognition, iris bands, uh, voice recognition, or thumbprint devices, the devices available, but seldom found in the market due to its um, high latency rate during the recognition process. So, although this system is very accurate, but it is inefficient in area with a large number of participants, such as college, universities, and moreover, these systems are very, very costly. So all of these available technologies share the same problems. Okay, we will look at look at it one by one. So first, about the setting up and implementation costs. So most of the proposed system we discussed just now require high maintenance costs. You have to prepare RFID card reader, uh, thumbprint devices. And so on. So it is challenging, especially for the university with a huge number of classroom and uh, uh, lecture halls. Okay, then we have the concern about the maintenance cost as well. Uh, the maintenance cost to keep the system fully operating with at least five years, I guess, before the system is replaced with a new technology. Okay, and we have to make sure that the system provided uh, is fast, uh, is easy and uh, accurate operating during the operating or process capturing process so it won't waste the lecture times okay and then if possible it is flexible and customizable based on the event based on the um, activities okay flexibility means we can have we can use the attendance system anyway okay anytime then power shortage is the main problem uh, almost all of the existing technologies are highly dependent on electricity and there is no alternative solutions in the case of an electricity up, up touch, uh, during the attendance recording process. Okay, the next one is monitoring progress and attendance analysis. Yeah, all of the system must provide the attendance analysis features. And then lastly, about the security and the data safety. So although biometric-based security system is very accurate, but the biometrics info uh, collected could be, could be later be exploited and uh, hackable. So it is not encouraged to use the biometric-based uh, system, the tenant system, except for certain industry. Okay, so for UMS part, University of Malaysia Sabah, <clears throat> We proposed an attendance system named Smart Adil to overcome the challenges I mentioned just now. So uh, the Smart Adil is available in the three forms, web, iOS, and Android version. The development of Smart Adil does not require high setup costs or, or, or long-term maintenance costs. Uh, there is no extra card reader, uh, accessories, uh, student's card required. Okay, or, or renovations. We don't need that. These smart hardware apps provide the features of the features of uh, QR code, uh, NFC enabled technology, beacon based technology, and then uh, the smart hardware web apps provide the attendance analysis features as well. All right, so it is efficient and effective. This, this analysis includes uh, the percentage of individual attendance rate, uh, date of absent, the status of absent, and then the lecturer can generate a PDF report when it is needed. So this is the flow chart or, or process flow. Okay, the lecturer must first log into the system and then create the class or the lecture okay, before the class starts. So as a student, they also have to log into the system 
and then start to take their, uh, take their attendance. So it depends on the technologies that uh, is used. If the lecturer display the QR code using the projector, then the students can scan the QR code uh, to take the attendance. If the um, lecturer leave the phone on the table, if the smart, if the NFC enabled, then the students also can scan the attendance using the NFC technology. Or, in case the huge, uh, the the hall does not provide uh, projector, then the lecturer can set using a beacon, where all of the students can click such beacons and then select the class. Attendance will be recorded even without QR code or NFC. So this also um, resolves solve the power shortage problem. Okay, so all of the data are then saved in the database. When lecturers uh, want to generate report, just go to the web smart hardware uh, app and then and check that students attendance report or print and then also can email the students if, if he or she found the students are absent okay so these are the few these are few interfaces that i can show to you i cannot reveal too much okay this is the login patch this is the features patch and then this is the list of courses patch so as a conclusion, there have been a numerous modifications due to the end user request where the um, UMS, uh, the, the most challenging parts are lecturers and students have no uh, smartphone at all and there is a small number of students are not affordable to have uh, a smartphone. Okay, And then we receive good feedbacks from the staff and lecturers that the smart hardware apps has eased and uh, faster the uh, task for capturing attendance and preparing the reports. But unfortunately, we cannot reveal too much for the features and design of the apps because the smart hardware apps is under fouling. Thus, not much of a technical content can be shared in this video. All right. So here is our team. Dr. Chong Seng Kiao from the Faculty of Engineering. I'm Chin, Associate Professor TS, Dr. Chin Kim On from Faculty of Computing and Informatics. And then our partner, Associate Professor TS, Dr. Muhammad Hanafi Ahmad Kijaji from the Center of Data and Information Management. So please feel free to drop an email to us if you want to um, help us to improve the system or um, you are interested to collaborate with us. So thank you very much. That's all from us.